Here we're going to do a couple examples of subtracting fractions where the denominators are different. So uh, beginning with uh, the first example, we have 536 minus 7 sixtieths. So we need to find the least common denominator first. So um, I might suggest uh, going ahead and prime factoring each of those denominators. So let's see, 36 is 9 times 4, 9 is 3 times 3, 4 is 2 times 2. Let's see, 60, maybe 6 and 10, 2, 3, 2, 5. So our LCD is going to be made of 2s, 3s, and 5s, and Let's see, I'm going to need two twos because there are two twos in 36 and two twos in 60. I'm going to need two threes because there's two threes in 36, and then I just need one five because there's only one five in 60. So when you multiply this together, what we end up with is 180. I'm going to skip a few steps there, but a little bit of scratch work would show you that you actually have 180. So that's our LCD. Alright, so each of these denominators need to become 180. So we've got 180 here, 180 there. So then we need to answer the question of what do I multiply 36 by in order to make 180? And remember we can use this strategy of 36 has two twos, right? So I don't need that part of the LCD. It has two threes, so I don't need that part of the LCD. So the only part um, of the LCD that 36 is missing is the 5. So I can multiply top and bottom of 536 by 5. Um, 60 um, has two factors of 2. It has two factors of 2, so you know, don't need that. It has a factor of 5. And it has one of the factors of 3, right? So, you know, 3 squared is 3 times 3, and so don't need that one. So the only thing you need is one factor of 3. And so I'd multiply the top and bottom of 7 sixtieths by 3. So we end up with 25 180 ths minus 21 180 ths We can subtract and get 4 180 ths and um, these are both even numbers, so at the very least, 2 goes into both of them. Um, however, uh, we can do better. It turns out that 4 also goes into 180, so we can divide the top and the bottom by 4. So what we end up with is 1, and when you take 180 divided by 4, you end up... <laughs> with 45. So we get 1 45th is our answer for this first example. Now the second example um, you can see here that we've got this you know subtracting the opposite situation going on. Um, don't worry about that part quite yet. First let's just focus on the denominators. So 35 I'll break down as 5 times 7. 42 I'll break down as 6 times 7 and 6 breaks down into 2 and 3. So our LCD needs a 2, needs a 3, needs a 5, and needs a 7. Um, and just one of each um, is all we're going to end up needing. There's two 7s total but remember you're just taking the highest number. So we multiply all that together 2 times 3 is 6 5 times 7 is 35, and then uh, 6 times 35, I guess I'll just do that right here, 35 times 6 is 210. So our LCD is 210. And so I need to make each of these into a denominator of 210. I don't feel like I have enough room right now, so let me... Let me rewrite this problem. To leave myself a little bit of room to actually show my work. 
Okay, so um, again, let's use our little trick here. We need to know how many times 35 goes into 210. Well, 35 is made up of the 5 and the 7 from the LCD. So notice it doesn't have a 2 and it doesn't have a 3. So it's missing the 2 times 3, which is 6. So I know I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of negative 3 35ths by 6. All right, the 42, remember, is made up of a 2, a 3, and a 7. So it doesn't need a 2, it doesn't need a 3, it doesn't need the 7. So what does it need? It needs the 5. And so we'll multiply the top and the bottom of negative 11 42nds by 5. And so that's going to give us the denominator we need. So that'll give us the negative, or the 210 on bottom. So that'll be negative 18 over 210 minus negative 55 over 210. All right, now let's deal with the fact that we have all this minus uh, negative business going on. So remember, you see a minus sign. And it's not just a big number minus a smaller positive number. We're going to cross the line, change the sign. So we end up with negative 18 over 210 plus 55 over 210. And it's a negative plus a positive, so we're going to subtract 18 from 55. So we have 37 over 210. And of course, you always need to make sure that you can't reduce anymore, but 37 is a prime number. And we can see the prime factorization of 210 right up here as the LCD. And uh, clearly, 37 doesn't appear there. So we know that this is the reduced uh, fraction answer.